The Cleveland Browns may be the most confusing team ever, but nobody's complaining, and this defense is doing something that we have never seen before. Coming into the 49ers game, the Browns had absolutely zero expectations to win with Deshaun Watson out, and because the 49ers were 5-0 with the best overall roster in the league. I think weather definitely played a big factor in keeping this one in reach, but the Browns deserve a lot of credit because they played gritty on both sides of the ball, and really the defense didn't allow any points at all. It was basically all because of bad offense. I think TJ Walker did a decent job for the situation he was in, obviously he had some turnovers and a lot of bad throws, but for being a third string, he made a few big plays including some big throws to Amari Cooper, and he was also able to manage the game the best he could. And after what we saw from DTR in the previous game against the Ravens, this was a whole different experience. But I'm not here to talk about the QB play, I'm here to talk about the defense and what Jim Schwartz has built, because holy cow, it has been crazy so far, and I only expect them to get even better as they start to gel throughout the season. Schwartz has these guys having fun out there, and it doesn't even seem like they're thinking too much anymore, and they love to celebrate each other, and as Jim calls it, they got the most swag in the NFL. Last season with Joe Woods, the mistakes just built and built on each other, and mentally most of the players were playing to not mess up instead of being aggressive and it all started with that horrific ending to the Jets game. This year they are playing with a short memory and you can just see how anxious they are to make a play with how much more they are being called for offsides. But one thing I can defend Joe Woods on is that Andrew Barry didn't really invest in an interior defensive line while he was the DC and teams just ran all over his defense and there was not much he could do about it. This offseason, the Browns brought in a few guys to fill the void, highlighted by Dalvin Tomlinson, and you can already see the difference. And sometimes Schwartz will even put Garrett in front of the center, and that's where he pulled off his legendary crossover where he sacked Joe Burrow. I just can't believe that the Browns actually beat the 49ers, and this was a game late in the fourth quarter as a Browns fan where you just knew they were going to lose. When I was watching, I thought they were either going to miss the chip shot to take the lead, or they were going to leave too much time on the clock for the Niners, which is exactly what happened. And I can't believe that Kevin Stefanski called that passing play with under two minutes that almost ended up as an interception. And if that was a turnover, fans would be completely done with him. And honestly, Kevin for the most part called a good game. He just does things every now and then that make no sense. And that's why sometimes I wish he had someone helping him to make the calls. Because even though I'm just a normal fan with no experience, it's just so easy to tell that he lacks a feel for the game sometimes. Anyways, this was truly a huge win, and in terms of the standings, it's going to go a long way. It basically makes up for the Pittsburgh loss, and now the schedule gets easier from here, and if Watson can return healthy, then this team can really make some noise. It's definitely been a weird season thus far with the Nick Chubb injury, the beatdown DTR took against the Ravens, and then smaller things like Najoku's face burn, but this team is now above 500 through five games and when looking at the next six games they should at least go four and two and if they do that would set them up great in the wild race of the AFC North. That's all I have to say for this video. Let me know in the comments below what you thought about this game against the 49ers and if you think the Browns are for real. With week five already in the books this season is starting to fly by and before we know it it's going to be crunch time. If you enjoyed this video and haven't yet please make sure to drop a like and subscribe and until next time I will see you all later.